सहनावतु सहनो भुनक्त सह वीर्यकवाहै तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मेन्वेश शातिशाशाति पूर्णमदूर्णमद पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमा पूर्णमेवशिष्य शातिशाशाति आप्यायंत ममांगाने मा ब्रह्म निराको अनराकमस्वराक मे अस्त तदात्मते यौपनिषत्सुधर्मास्ते मयि सत ते मयि सत शातिशातिस्मृतिपुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमेतरक्षरमुदीतमुपीत <coughs> ओमतेद्गाते तस्ोपव्या मनोवाववाचो भूय यथावैद्वेवा आमलके द्वेवा कोले द्वेवा अक्ष मुष्टि अनुभवते एवं वाचम च नाम च मनोनुभवते स यदा मनसा मनस्यदे मंत्रान अधीयते अथ अधीते कर्माणि कुर्वीयते अथ कुरुते पुत्रां सपशुं सेच्छेयते अथ इच्छते इवं चलोक ममुं चेच्छेयते अथ इच्छते मनोह्यात्मा मनो हि लोक मनो हि ब्रह्म मनोपास्वे मनोवाव वाचो भूय द माइंड इन दीद इज भूय इज सुपीरियर टू बेटर देन दिवाक दि ऑर्गन स्पीच और द स्पीच The walk was explained as organ of speech, or you can say the mind is greater than speech. <coughs> What is meant by mana is manasya na vishistam antah karanam. By the word mana is not meant 
the whole antahkaranam is not meant the sankal vikal patmika antahkaranam vritti. It is meant manasyana vishishta antahkaranam. A kind of state of mind which is called manasyana. What is manasyana? That state of mind which entertains an intention. <coughs> So power of thing or intention. This word is one by manasyana here. Taddi manasyana vyaparava dvacham vakte vaktavya prerayati. So when does the mind impel the speech to speak? When the mind becomes endowed with the state of intention. <coughs> so when a given intention arises in the mind, then it impels the speech, organ of speech to speak. Tena vang manasi antarbhavati. On account of that, you say that the speech is included in the mind or covered by the mind. Yacha yasmin antarbhavati tattasya vyapakatvat tato bhuyo bhavati. So that which is included within something is or that which includes something, which covers something, pervades something, is greater than what is covered or what is pervaded. <coughs> so the example is given. Yathave loke dveva amalake phale dveva kole badara phale dveva akshav vibhitaka phale musti anubhavati Just as in the fist, there may be to amalaka fruits, to kola fruits or the plums, to aksha fruits. So, how musti anubhavati, how the feast feels them, includes them, covers them, encompasses them. Musti te phale vyapnati, musta vide antar bhavata. So what is meant by this illustration of these two fruits being the fist is that the fist covers these two fruits, envelops them, encompasses them, includes them, feels them. And so how musti of the fist is greater than those fruits. So also the mind that covers or envelops the speech is, and is greater than the speech. Evam vacham va, vacham cha, nama cha, amalaka divat, mana anubhavati. Similarly, the mind experiences, encompasses the speech and the word. Nama, vacham cha, nama cha. <coughs> so that's why, vagadhe vyaptim. That how the mind pervades the speech and the name. Itasya manasvasti bhuyastam. For this further reason also, we say that the mind is greater than the speech. Sayada purusho yasmin kale manasa antahkarnena manasyati. A person at given time when manasyati, manasyanam, Vivaksha buddhi here. Vashaka manasthana means vivaksha buddhi, the intention to do something. In this case, vivaksha buddhi, the intention to utter. <coughs> intention to do. Intention to acquire. So, manasthana means intention. <coughs> when there is intention to speak, then the organ of speech is impelled to speak. <coughs> so, manasyanam, manasyati, when the mind intends, katham, mantran adhiyaya ucharayayam iti. May I recite the mantras, even vivaksham kritva, thus entertaining an intention to recite the mantras. Adhite, then he recites the mantra. Meaning that before the act of reciting, say mantra, 
takes place, then there is something that impels the speech to utter those mantras. What is it? It is the mind that impels the speech. What kind of mind? Mind which is in a state of intention. Intends to speak in this case. <coughs> so, that manasyana vishishtam antahkaranam. The antahkaranam, the mind, characterized by manasyanam, the intention to do something. Tata karmane kurviya, it is chikirshrabuddhim, vivakshrabuddhim, chikirshrabuddhim. This is intention to do something. So, karmane kurviya, may I perform the rituals? Atta kurude, then he performs the ritual. So, performance of ritual is preceded by an intention to perform the rituals. Putramsya pasum se chedi prapti cham krutva. Then, when he has a desired intention to acquire something, putramsya pasum se chedi. So, may I desire, may acquire the progeny, acquire the cattle. Tat prapti upaya anusthane, of course, that results into anusthanam, the performance of the ritual which is a means of acquiring the progeny or acquiring the cattle. Atha ichade, then Upanishad atha ichade, he desires to eat, he intends to desire and then he desires. So the ichade is explained as putradin prapnaudi tyartha. Meaning that he then acquires the cat, the progeny acquires the cattle. Tata imam chalokam amum cha upayane ichayayadi. Or this world or that world may I acquire upayane by implementing the appropriate means to acquire those worlds. Tat prapti upaya anusthanena atha ichade prapnati. Then he acquires or attains those worlds by performance of the appropriate rituals which are means of attaining those worlds. Tasya atmatvam upapadayati. Then says manohi atma. Then Upanishad, mind itself is Atma, the Self. How? Atmanaha kartratvam bhoktratvam cha sati manasi nanyathayati manohi atmaiti uchare. The Self has kartratvam, the sense of doership, bhoktratvam, sense of enjoyership. That can be there only when the mind is there, because basically it is the mind that has the doership and enjoyership. That mind becomes the upadi of the atma. In identification with that mind, atma also thinks that I am a karta, I am a bhokta. <coughs> stutyartham. All this is needed for stutyartham, for extolling the mind. Why stuti? Because the mind is presented here as the object of worship. Therefore, <coughs> So, Manohi Atma, Manohi Lokaha, Sati Vay Manasi, Loko Bhavati, Tat Prapti Upaya, Anusthanam Chaiti, Manohi Lokaha. Only when the mind is there, that the world is there. In what way? So, Tikagara said, Mano Vikaratvat, Mano Gnayatvat, Dva Lokasya, Mano Dhinatvam. Either because the very world is projected by the mind. What we call the creation, nothing but the modification of mind. In that case, the loka, the realm also, is the vikara or modification of mind. Or, manu gnyatvadva, or the loka of the world is the object of knowledge of the mind. That's how the desire to acquire the loka takes place. That's how the performed ritual takes place. Or loka prapti upaya jnana karma 
अनुष्ठान से तत् अधीन और यू हैड परफॉर्म ए रिचुअल फॉर अटेनमेंट द वर्ल्ड लोका फॉर दैट यू शुड नो हाउ डू वॉट दैट लोका इज एंड हाउ डू परफॉर्म द रिचुअल्स और ज्ञान कर्म और द मेडिटेशन सो एट ए वर्ल्ड इज अटेन वेन यू परफॉर्म द रिचुअल एंड परफॉर्म द मेडिटेशन ऑल ऑफ दिस इज डन बाय द माइंड और बोथ ऑफ दिस आर डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द माइंड परफॉर्म द रिचुअल as well as meditation both of these are dependent upon the mind in that sense it is said tat prapti upaya anusthanam cha therefore manohi lokah the mind itself indeed is lokah the world such as bhuhu bhuah suah and so manohi brahma uktaritya तस् सर्वात्मक सर्वात्मक ब्रह्मत्व युक्त सो माइंड इज द आत्मा माइंड इज द लोक एंड सो देर फॉर माइंड इज ब्रह्म बिकॉज सो इज माइंड इज सर्वात्मा इज ऑल परवेज एंड ब्रह्म इज ऑल परवेज देर फॉर दो लक्षण बींग कॉमन मनो ही ब्रह्म फॉर माइंड इज इन डीड ब्रह्म the all pervasive the the sense self of all man upasvayade therefore he narada may you meditate upon mind may you worship the mind as brahman what is man meditating over mind is may you worship brahman may you worship the mind as brahman superimpose idea of brahman upon the mind and may you worship the mind <coughs> Go to the next page, three hundred four. Sayo mano Brahme tipaste, yavan manaso gatam, tatrasya yatha kama charo bhavati, yo mano Brahme tipaste. अस्थि भगवो मनसो भूय इति मनसो वाव भूयोस्ते तन्मे भगवान् ब्रवीत्वेते सो हैविंग एन्जॉयड द मेडिटेशन ऑफ द माइंड और वर्षि ऑफ द माइंड देन द फलश्रुति सयो मनो ब्रह्मे तिपास्ते द वन हु मेडिटेट्स अपॉन माइंड इज ब्रह्मन और वर्शिप द माइंड इज ब्रह्मन यावन मनस है गतम वट एवर इज दी गतम द रेंज ऑफ द माइंड वट एवर वेर ऑफ द माइंड एक्सटेंड्स तत्र से यथा कामचारो भवती बिकॉज मेडिटेटिंग अपॉन द माइंड इज आइडेंटिफाई विद द माइंड becoming light the mind so therefore this meditator also attains as much pervasiveness as the mind has therefore yavan manaso gatam so whatever is the range of the mind tatrasya yatha kama charo bhavati he also gets the freedom of movement in the whole region which is the range of the mind <coughs> यो मनो ब्रह्मे तुपास उपसंहारा नॉट ए रेपिटेशन उपसंहारा वन हु मेडिटेट्स अपॉन द माइंड सो दैट वन टॉपिक इज उपसम इज इज कंक्लूडेड देन से इज नारदास अस्थि भगवो मनसो भूय रिवियर सर इज अ समथिंग ग्रेटर देन द माइंड टीकाकार सेट दैट द होल प्रोसेस इज फ्रॉम ग्रोसर टू द सटलर टू द सटलर Ultimately, to arrive at the self which is subtlest, self or Brahman or Bhuma which is subtlest, <coughs> Astiva Asti Bhagavo Manaso Bhuyaiti, O Venerable Sir, is there something greater than the mind? Manaso Vav Bhuy Asti Ti, Yes, my dear, there is indeed something greater than the mind. Tanme Bhagwan Bravi Tvi. May the venerable sir 
please tell me what it is that is greater than the mind <coughs> so master ka says below sayo manah ityadi samanam sayo manah this passage is to explain as before <coughs> so that way the tritiya khanda of the seventh chapter is con- concluded here <coughs> then the next passage says sankalpo vav manaso bhuyan yada vai sankalpayate अथ मन से अथवाच ईरेदी नाम मंत्रेक मंत्रु कर्माणे सो मै डियर इन डीड दर इज समथिंग ग्रेटर दैन द माइंड वाट इज इट संकल्पो वाव मनसो भूया the sankalpa the will is bhuyan is greater than the mind in uh, how do you say that on what basis yada vai sankalpayate atha manasyati mind is explained as manasya na vishishta mantah karanam that state of mind characterized by intending desiring so desire arises when there is will or resolution call it will or resolve you know so yada vai sankalpayate when a resolve takes place in the mind that is when the desire to do that happens so desire also is preceded by some will or sankalpa so desire to go somewhere has before that a sankalpa that i want to go and then the specific desire i want to go to a particular place so first of all i am fed up here i want to go i want to go walk you know i want to do something that sankalpa happens then what to do specifically takes place let me watch tv let me take a walk let me do you know whatever so a desire a particular desire also is preceded by a will or resolve to do something so a desire also has is also a result of some intention i mean some will or some resolve <coughs> basic sankalpa is the name of jiva basic sankalpa and from that i am an inadequate inadequate person sankalpa therefore i want to become inadequate i want to become adequate that's the primary sankalpa primary sankalpa is i want to be adequate i want to be free i want to be happy that's the primary sankalpa arising from a conclusion that I am unhappy as I am. I am inadequate as I am. And therefore, I have to become adequate. I have to become happy. I have to acquire happiness. Primary sankalpa. It is this primary sankalpa that gives rise to variety of desires. I want to be happy. so i and that i must acquire happiness so that general sankalpa of acquiring happiness results into specific desires that i want to have a car i want to have a house i want to do the, watch tv whatever so these desires are preceded by a basic sankalpa from the vedantic standpoint the primary sankalpa is i am inadequate how to become adequate how to become happy 
how to become free let's see Fr first conclusion that I am inadequate I am bound I am unhappy that's a conclusion about the self that gives rise to sankalpa because I cannot accept myself being inadequate I cannot accept myself being bound I cannot accept myself being dependent being unhappy therefore the sankalpa I want to become happy I want to become free I want to become inadequate adequate <clears throat> from that specific desire arises at that time whatever I think is a means of becoming adequate means of becoming happy means of becoming free that is what I desire and so my notion of what will make me happy keeps changing therefore the specific desire keeps on changing but behind them sankalpa is I want to be happy so under these conditions what will make me happy that changes and therefore the specific desire changes and then desire impels action etc <coughs> so yada vai sankalpa yate atha manasyati so when the sankalpa is there I want to be happy I want to be free that is when manasyati then there is an intention of doing something intention for becoming happy I must do something an intention to do something arises then specific doing happens atha manasyati atha vacham irayati that may I utter a mantra may I say something then that intention to speak impels irayati the speech to utter the words or mantras tam u nam ni irayati first of all there is a general desire to speak or utter then that desire becomes specific desire of uttering purusha suktam let us say how to recite what shall I recite shri suktam purusha suktam meza suktam whatever nam ni specific name words you know are then so first a desire to speak then desire to speak a given thing that's called nama here so desire to speak is a general desire desire to speak or utter a particular stotra particular mantra is a specific desire that's called nama nam ni mantra so then a specific mantra so speaking and speaking words and speaking particular words mantra mantreshu karmani in mantra are contained all the karma all the rituals so they say that all the rituals have their source in the mantras the vedas have these two sections mantra vibhaga and brahmana vibhaga so brahmana is said to be an elaboration of mantra so what is stated in mantra is elaborated in brahmana <coughs> so brahmana comes about brahma means veda means mantras so brahmanas do not tell you anything independently but brahmana is only elaborate what is already contained in mantra it may not be obvious to us when we perhaps read the mantras we it may not be very obvious what the mantras are saying but that's what brahmana is elaborate or when brahmana is elaborate something we can presume that some mantra must be there somewhere sometimes we cannot connect a given mantra with the given brahmana like in the upanishad also mantra upanishad and brahmana upanishad so mundaka upanishad said to be mantra upanishad and prashna upanishad to be brahmana upanishad ishava says mantra upanishad bhodanika is brahmana upanishad Kena Upanishad is Mantra Upanishad. Chandogya is Brahmana Upanishad. In, in short, 
Brahmana must necessarily have a source in mantra. This is, this is the basic view. So even though all the rituals are found in Brahmanas, but then Brahmana should have its source in mantra. Therefore, in mantra, all the rituals are included. Mantreshu Karvani. <coughs> So now Bhashyakara says, <coughs> Sankalpo Vava Manaso Bhuyan. Same sentence. That the will or resolve is greater than even intention. Manasa means intention. Intention also or desire also is a result of will or resolution. Some conclusion. <coughs> Sri Anandagiri Sankalpa Shabdartha Maha What is the meaning of the word Sankalpa? Samyak Kalpa Sankalpa Or the other Tika Kara says Karishyami Deva Matmaka Icha Vishasya Loke Sankalpa Tvasa Prasiddhe Usually when you do the Sankalpa then Karishyami Pujang Karishyamaha Karishyami, I will perform this ritual. It even atma, just that, that Icha wishes a particular desire is called Sankalpa, normally. So Karishye, we will do. It is Icha wishes a loke Sankalpatva se prasiddhe. To people, what is meant by sankalpa is a particular kind of desire. It's called sankalpa. Tasyacha manasyana avishastatvat. So, what is the difference between manasyana, intention to do something, and sankalpa, will to do something? Because normally that intention to do alone is called sankalpa. So, we do not see any difference between manasyana, the intention, and sankalpa. Avishastatvat, they do not seem to be different from each other. Tamprati bhuyastva anupatte, if both are the same, how can you say that one is greater than the other? For the sankalpa to be greater than manasyana, sankalpa must be different from manasyana. But if sankalpa is the same as manasyana, both of them mean the intention or desire, then how can you say that? Sankalpo vava manasaha bhuyan. The sankalpa is greater than manas. How do you say that? Therefore, prakrita upyogi sankalpa shabdartham aha. Therefore, in order to justify the statement that sankalpa is greater than manas, Mahashakara gives the specific meaning of sankalpa as applicable here. Even though the word sankalpa may mean desiring in specifically, but here sankalpa is a meaning slightly different from intention, that vashakara, then only sankalpa would be greater than intention. So, what should be the meaning of the word sankalpa? Because of which sankalpa becomes greater than intention. Sankalpa vava manaso bhuyan. For that, sankalpa must be somewhat different from manas. Therefore, the meaning of the word sankalpa as applicable in this particular statement is what Bhashyakara explains. <coughs> sankalpa of his Bhashya says, Sankalpa of his Antahkarna Vrittihe Kartavya Kartavya Vishay Vibhagena Samarthanam Sankalpo bi Sankalpa also Manasyanavat like Manasyanam So like Manasyanam is a specific state of mind Vritti means a state of mind Antahagana Vritti a thought of the mind or a state of the mind <coughs> So mind is like gold and just as gold assumes variety of shapes or states then it is called ornament. So also the stuff called the mind 
assumes a variety of forms or states which are called thoughts or vrittis. So manasjana, that intention is one kind of a state of mind. Similarly, sankalpo api antah kana vritti, sankalpo also is a state of mind like manasjana, like that intention. <coughs> So, antakana vritti to avishese pi, manasyanat avantara bhedama. All right. If both of them are only states of mind, then what is the difference between the state of mind called sankalpa and the state of mind called manasyana? What is the difference between these two? Or as Anandagiri said, kasa antakana vritti hi, ya sankalpa shabdita etya sinkya. If sankalpa is antahkana vritti, state of the mind, what is the state of mind which is what you call sankalpa? So Bhashyakara said, kartavya, akartavya, vishay vibhagena, samarthanam. Samarthanam is sankalpa. So determination, resolving, determining. What? Kartavya, akartavya, vishay vibhagena. Now here particularly, kartavya which is something to be done. A kartavya, something not to be done. So before doing anything, this kind of resolution takes place in the mind. That this is to be done, this is not to be done. And then you resolve to do something. So before you resolve to do something, there must be also a resolution, this is to be done, there is not to be done. Because there may be many choices. I want to cook. You can cook many things. This is to be cooked. Yesterday we had dal, so today we should have mung or something like that, you know. So we don't want to repeat. So what was cooked yesterday should not be cooked today. And the must cook, you must cook something else. Whatever the criterion for kartavya or akartavya is there. Different people have different criteria or why something should not be done and why something should be done. Somebody doesn't want to repeat, therefore. Somebody says, no, no, every day you should have dal. And so, therefore you should do. Therefore, so what is kartavya, what is worth doing, what is to be done? A kartavya, what should not be done? Whatever be the notion that a particular person has, about kartavya and a kartavya, that will vary. But before arriving at this resolution that I want to do this, which is what you call manasyana, before that, this resolution takes place, this is to be done, that is not to be done. Meaning that, of the many choices of the things that you can do, you exclude rest before resolving that, I want to do this. So before the resolution that I want to do a given thing takes place, this ref earlier resolution, samasanam determination takes place, that this is to be done, that is not to be done. <coughs> Bhashyakara says that when you do something, then you already have decided what is not to be done. Because usually there is a choice of doing more than one thing in a given situation. So when you do a particular thing, it presupposes that you have decided that the other thing is not to be done. When you are at an intersection on the road, when you take, so you can go right, left or straight, when you go right, when you already decided that I don't have to go left, I should not go straight, I must go right. So before doing anything, there must be the resolution that this is kartavyam, this is to be done. For that, that is not to be done. So that process takes place in the mind. That specific process is called sankalpa here, Bhashyakara says. So that state of mind where this determination now, what is to be done and what is not to be done, that is called sankalpa by Bhashyakara here. <coughs> 
anyway we get a good idea of our our functioning of the mind this way whether we do this meditation or what's functioning how the the subtler states of mind because you want to reach ultimately self which is subtlest <coughs> says the tika in the line 27 kartavya akartav rupav yo vishayo tayo yo vibhaga tasya samarthanam so kartavya akartav rupav yo vishayo those two things which are kartavya to be done not to be done tayo ho yo vibhaga the distinction between the two tasya samarthanam so samarthanam was vibhaga samarthanam this is to be done that is this is kartavya this is should be done a kartavya should not be done that kind of distinction is called sankalpa then to be done particular is called manasyana you know so before you arrive at doing a given thing there is a vibhaga or distinction of what is to be done what is not to be done that vibhaga takes place first vibhaga samarthanam then specific desire of doing this happens you know tad rupena nischaya samarthana tad rupena nischaya a determination or resolution tad rupa vrutti ityartha so that vrutti or that state of mind which is the nature of resolving or determining kartavya and akartavya सृष्टि का विभाग है ना समर्थन में दिपाठ है, तो विभाग है ना समर्थनम समाओ, the टीका कार्य में से different है, तो विभाग का समर्थनम that's what they must have I think you know, तो विभाग का से समर्थनम, तो दिपाठ और टीका कार्य शुद्ध में विभाग का समर्थनम, which result is विभाग का से समर्थनम इस सृष्टि तत्पर विभागेन समर्थनम एज अ पार्ट वी है इति पाठ है कर्तव्यादूपस्य विषयस्य तेनैव कर्तव्यादूपेण विभागेन समर्थनम इति कथञ्चित् योज्या सु कर्तव्यादि रूपस्य सु कर्तव्य कर्तव्य विषय विभागेन सु कर्तव्य अकर्तव्य रूपस्य विषयस्य that thing which is to be done or not to be done tenaiva kartavya durupana vibhagena samarthanam and so that vishaya is already there what is to be done what is not to be done then vishayena samarthanam so tenaiva kartavya durupana vibhagena that vibhaga or distinction of what is to be done what is not to be done samarthanam the determination in that manner idi kathanchid yogya तो टीका करा फील्स दैट दिस पाठ है कर्तव्य कर्त्य विषय विभाग समर्थनम सो यू एक्सप्लेन दैन सो कर्तव्य कर्त रूप यो विषय तय विभाग विभाग से समर्थनम विभाग समर्थनम यू नो सो समर्थनम एज विभाग समर्थनम ऑफ विभाग इज बेटर देन समर्थनम एज विभाग सो सम्यक विभागे न कल्पनम सवरी संकल्पा सम्यक कल्पनम संकल्पा है संग एंड कल्पन सो सम्यक मीन्स व्हाट वेरी वेल सो विभागे न कल्पनम सो विद कल्पनम इस सम इज एरेट कॉल संकल्पा सो वेरी वेल कम कल्पनम सो व्हाट इज वेरी वेल विभागे न सो डिस्टिंग्विशिंग बिटवीन व्हाट इज बी डन व्हाट इज नॉट बी डन सो कल्पना मीन्स दैट निश्चय कल्पना मीन्स निश्चय दैट निश्चय इज कॉल संकल्प ये योगिक है संकल्प शब्द है नॉट व्हाट इज नॉर्मली थॉट टू बी संकल्प एज अ डिजायर टू डू समथिंग नो हियर संकल्पना मीन्स दैट स्टेट ऑफ माइंड वेर द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन व्हाट इज बी डन व्हाट इज नॉट बी डन टेक्स प्लेस दैट विभाग सो विभाग से विभाग से वर्ड समर्थनम इस कॉल संकल्प है यार 
इट इज संकल्प यौगिक मीन दैट इट्स डेरीवेटिवली सम्यक कल्पनम संकल्प नॉट वट इज कॉमनली रूड वट इज कॉमनली नॉन इज संकल्प एज अ डिजायर इज नॉट वट इज मैंट हियर अस्थ से मनस्य नेतृत्वाद अयम अर्थ ग्राह्य मुनी दैट सो विभाग से समर्थनम अराइविंग एट द विभाग द डिस्टिंगशन बिन कर्तव्य कर्तव्य रिजल्ट इन टू ए स्पेसिफिक डिजायर सो दैर फॉर दिस संकल्प एज एक्सप्लेन दिस वे अलोन इज द कॉज ऑफ मनस्थनम दैर फॉर संकल्प बींग कॉज इज ग्रेट मनस्थनम बींग इफेक्ट सो इज कॉज इन इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप अर्लियर दी परवेजिव रिलेशनशिप इंक्लूडिंग रिलेशनशिप यर इट इज कॉज इन इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप सो वन थिंग बींग ग्रेटर दी अदर इज इन डिफरेंट वेज सो वन थिंग इंक्लूड्स दी अदर इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर वन थिंग इज द कॉज ऑफ दी अदर देन ऑल्सो इट इज ग्रेटर दैट्स वॉट आनंद गिरी से द्विविधे विषय विभाग न समर्थते कथम यथोक्त संकल्प से मनस भूस्व ऑल राइट सो वेन विभाग डिस्टिंगशन ऑफ कर्तव्य अकर्तव्य इज ऑल रिजॉल्व स्टील हाउ इज दैट बिगर ग्रेटर देन द माइंड सो विभाग भाष्यकार से विभाग न ही समर्थित विषय चिकित्सा बुद्धि मनस्यनानंतरम भवते सो भाष्य करें कंटिन्यू विभाग न ही समर्थित विषय नॉट विभाग से सो विभाग न ही समर्थित विषय वेन विषय और अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज समर्थित इज एसरटेन विभाग न थ्रू विभाग और डिस्टिंगशन कर्तव्य न कर्तव्य देन ओनली चिकित्सा बुद्धि होती धन उन्नी कौन मनस्य नम सो मनस्य मीन चिकित्सा बुद्धि द इंटेंशन टू डू समथिंग इज कॉल मनस्य एम हैपन्स वेन फर्स्ट देर इज रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ वॉट इज टू बी डन वॉट इज नॉट टू बी डन सो फर्स्ट शुड टेक प्लेस इन द माइंड ए डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ दिस इज टू बी डन दिस इज नॉट टू बी डन वंस दैट डिटर्मिनेशन और एसरटेनमेंट टेक्स प्लेस देन doing a particular thing the intention to do comes later so intention to do is called manasyana before that the doability must be determined this is worth doing that's must be first determination and then actual doing so this is worth eating you only you eat so yesterday the other day i gave prasad you know to one couple visiting from united states how fussy people are about the health and about the weight and about calorie and i mean it just goes to so i gave half panda to each of them she gave part of that you know into her husband and he just held it in his hand and she held, did not eat before that there was a discussion of how particular we are about health and stuff like that she just kept on holding it because it's not the determination it did not take place this is worth eating no they don't have this kind of reverence that swami ji has given so it is worth no is worth only when it satisfy my criterion of calories and stuff like that so whatever is ray of kind of worthiness somebody says swami ji gives me so ekadashi no ekadashi prasada is prasada so there is one category here whatever whoever gives me whether i consider it worthy or not that determines whether i do it or not so whether you do something or not is preceded by the determination that this is worth doing then only you do the simple act of eating something doesn't take place unless you determine that this is worthy of being eaten by me you know so that state is called sankalpa here <clears throat> so vibhage nahi samarthite so when kartavya na kartavya it is worth doing or not worth doing when that ascertainment first takes place then chikitsa buddhi then the desire to eat or desire to throw away also you know maybe who knows 
you are holding it when swami even they go away then you know who knows what they do with it so whatever decide to throw away <coughs> takes place so chikitsa buddhi bhavati now oh, manasyanantaram manasyanantaram doesn't seem to be right manasyanam what is chikitsa buddhi manasya manasyanam means chikitsa buddhi as explained manasyanam means a desire to be desire to do something anyway so here मनस्यनम भवती दी पाठ साधु नॉट मनस्यनानंतरम भवती बट मनस्यनम भवती इति पाठ साधु चिकित्सा बुद्धि मनस्यनम भवती सेस ठीका करा मनस्यनानंतरम भवती इति पाठ है ऐसा पाठ दैट वी है अनंतरम मनसी चिकित्सा बुद्धि भवती इति अन्वय है सो मनस्यन अनंतरम मनसे चिकित्सा बुद्धि भवती दैट्स हाउ यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दैट आफ्टर मनस्यनम द डिजायर चिकित्सा बुद्ध मनस्य में इट्स अभी चिकित्सा बट एनीवे आफ्टर मनस्यनम इन द माइंड चिकित्सा बुद्धि दी डिजायर टू डू समथिंग टेक्स प्लेस उक्त मनस्यन हेतु त्वेन ततो भोयस्तुम सुत्या दर्शयितुम प्रच्छेति सुधि हर्षल एक्सप्लेन्स दिस सो उक्त मनस्यन हेतु त्वेन दैट संकल्प इज ग्रेटर देन मनस्यन एज एक्सप्लेन्ड बाय अस सो संकल्प एज एक्सप्लेन्ड बाय अस इज ग्रेटर देन द मनस्यन एज एक्सप्लेन्ड बाय अस संकल्प इज विभागेन समर्थनम द असर्टेनमेंट ऑफ विभाग टू बी worth doing not worth doing then manasyana the desire to do so sankalpa as we explain is greater than the manasyana as we explain so ukta manasyana hetu tvena tato bhuyastvam shrutya darshan shruti also explains how sankalpa is greater than manasyana <coughs> katham eti or going to anandagiri संकल्प से कारण अत्वात मनसस्य कार्यत्वात अतो भूयस्तम इत्यर्थ है इन दिस केस संकल्प इस कारणम मनस्य ने इस कार्यम कारण इस ग्रेटर देन कार्यम सो संकल्प संकल्प इस ग्रेटर देन मनस्य ने कार्य कारण भाम तो वो आकांक्षा पूर्वक व्यक्ति करो दी सो बहुत ठीक अगर एक्सप्लेन सम और डिफरेंटली आनंद गिरी से and manasya is effect and causes greater than effect so vyakti karodi shudhi explains how sankalpa is cause of manasya na or the other tika kara say same thing hetu tvena and so how sankalpa is hetu or cause of manasya na katham edi swashya kara says katham in that katham sankalpa sya मनस्य न सकाशाद भूयस्वित्यर्थ है हाउ डू यू से दैट संकल्प इज ग्रेटर देन मनस्य न उत्तर दी एंसर इज गिवन बाय श्रुति सो श्रुति गिव्स द एंसर हाउ संकल्प इज द कॉज ऑफ मनस्य न यदा वही सो यदा यदा वै संकल्प कर्तव्यादिषयाभजते इदम कर्त युक्त अथ मन से मंत्रीय इत्यादि सो हाउ डू यू से दैट दी संकल्प इज द कॉज ऑफ मनस्य न यदा वै संकल्प वेन पर्सन रिजॉल हाउ कर्तव्यादि विषयान विभजते वेन पर्सन डिस्टर्मिन्स और डिस्क्रिमिनेट्स बिटवीन व्हाट इज कर्तव्य व्हाट इज अकर्तव्य इदम कर्त युक्त विभजते दट दिस इज कर्त युक्त दिस इट इज प्रॉपर टू डू दिस इट इज राइट टू डू दिस नॉट ट्राई टू डू दैट 
then athamanasyati. Then there is a desire or intention to do something. Mantran adhijayatyadi, specific desire. May I recite the mantra? But before the reciting, there must be a single resolution that it is proper to recite the mantra. If it is not proper, you will not recite the mantra. It is not proper to recite here. This mantra cannot be recited here. That mantra should be recited here. So, kartavya, kartavya. For this ritual, for this step in the ritual, not that mantra, this mantra. Not that verse, this verse. So there were, that first takes place and then you proceed, you desire or intend to recite that particular mantra. <coughs> so mantran adhi, still it is intention to recite mantra. That is manasyana. Then see the tiga, manasyan anantaram vacha samanyena preranam bhavati. So even though there is intention to recite a mantra, but mantra is a specific kind of word. So there must be intention to utter, number one. Intention to utter. Utter a particular word, meaning mantra. So before reciting mantra, there is the intention to utter. Then the organ of speech is impelled. Then the organ of speech is impelled into uttering particular mantra. See how Samanya precedes the Vishesha always. Before you make an ornament, gold is there. Samanya which becomes ornament Vishesha. So that means a desire, intention to utter a specific mantra is a Vishesha. Before that, intention to utter Samanya must take place. <coughs> so, manasyana anantaram vacha samanyena preranam bhavati. After the intention to recite, first of all, vacha samanyena preranam. That mind, manasyana, impels the organ of speech in general to utter. And then further impels the organ of speech to utter a particular mantra. <coughs> or uttered words and then utters particular words which are called mantras. So, uttering, uttering words, you can utter visal also, you know. So, you can in fact uh, utter, impel your organ of speech to do anything, to produce any kind of sound. But here, you want to produce sound, articulated sound in the form of words and then particular articulate sound in form of mantras and then karma, etc. So, so Athanantaram Bhashyakara says, Atha Anantaram Vacham Irayate Mantra Adi Ucharane Irayate impels, then impels the organ of speech, Ucharane, in deciding the mantra, etc. Mantra Adi, mantra, etc. <coughs> Then says the Tika, my Anagri, Mana Sakashad Vacha Anantar Bhavitve Vishesham Darshadi. After Manasyanam comes the Vacha. So Vacha Anantar Bhavitve. How the speech actual utterance follows the mana, mana, Manasyanam or intention. So Tamcha. Or the other tika says, Samanya prerna anantaram idam nama uchayaritam etevam vivekshapurukam vishesha prerna bhavati. So, Samanya prerna anantaram, after general prerna or impelling, that may I speak. Idam nama uchayaritavyam, this particular nama, this particular word is to be uttered. Iti evam viksha purukam vishesha prayanam bhavati. So, intention to speak also is in different stages. First is intention to speak in general. Then, 
intention to speak particular words. <coughs> so tamu or tamche, whatever. So in that case, when he says tamu, that cha vach, vacham may not be there in his reading. Tam cha vacham u namne namo charanimittam vivakshram kratva irayate Tam cha vacham Now the speech can utter many things. That speech is now impelled to utter Nama. So, now the desire is becoming more and more specific. So, Vacham U Namni meaning Namo Charanamittam Vikshaam Kritva Namni Iraita means what? So, Namo Charanamittam Vikshaam Kritva Entertaining a desire of uttering specific names or specific words. You know, so, speech is impelled first to utter something. Then further impelled to utter words and not some other kind of sound. U shabdaha prasiddhyartha ko nipataha. So, tam u. What is u? Prasiddhi shows how this is well known. <coughs> Mantranapi namatvat namni mantrahaiti adhar adeva anupati dyashankya. So mantranapi namatvat, mantras also words. Mantras are also words. Then how do you say that the namni mantrahai kambhavanti? That the mantras included in nama. Because mantra and nama are not different. So mantranapi namatvat. Namni mantrahayati adhar adhe bhava anupatti. Then how do you say that the mantras get included in Nama? So Vashyaka Nama Sambhashyakara says Namni Nama Samanye Mantraha Shabda Vishesha Santaha Ekam Bhavante Antar Bhavante Ityarthaha Samanyehi Visheshaha Antar Bhavate Namni Mantra Shruti said Namni Mantra Ekam Bhavanti means Antar Bhavanti. So Namni Nama Samanye in the Nama words in general Mantra Shabda Visheshaha Mantras are specific words. So specific words become included in words in general. Samanyehi Vishesha Antarabhati. Just as in gold with Samanya, all ornaments get included. Similarly, in mantra, which is particular words, they get included in the mantra in general. <coughs> So, Samanye Mantra Mantra Bhave Mantra Visheshatma Katam Hitum. Mantra is a specific words, that's a Hitu. So, Shabda Visheshaha Santaha Ekam Bhavanti Hitu Garbhitam Vidam Visheshanam. So, Mantra Visheshaha. There is Hitu because Mantra the Shabda Mantra the Shabda Visheshaha. So, Visheshaha is known to get included in Samanya. Therefore, mantras get included in the Shabda or Nama or the words. So, Namni Mantra Antarvam Samaradari Samanyahi Vishesha Antarbhavati. Okay. Then comes Mantreshu Karmani Ekam Bhavanti. In the mantra, the karmas become Included. <coughs> that has now uh, triggered a long discussion. We will only take some useful parts of that discussion, but Anandagiri is fairly clear about it, so we will confine ourselves to Anandagiri. <coughs> So 
सो अन्य ग्रीसेस कथम मंत्रेशु अनुपलब्ध कर्मणा मंत्र भाव तत्रा है सो मंत्रेशु अनुपलब्धाम कर्मणा अनुपलब्ध कर्मणा तो ये मंत्र यू डोंट फाइंड कर्मा कर्मा और रिचुअल्स यू फाइंड इन ब्राह्मण सेक्शन वी साइड इन वेदास टू सेक्शन द मंत्र सेक्शन एंड ब्राह्मण सेक्शन इज वेल नोन दैट ऑल द द विधि all the enjoyment all the adesha vibhag it is called so brahmana in fact enjoys the rituals therefore the rituals are well known to be there in brahmana not in mantra so mantra is anupalabdha karmana we do not find rituals being mentioned in mantras so how do you say that the rituals get included in mantras when rituals do not have presence in mantras so you can say that the ornaments get included in gold provided in gold there is presence of ornaments you can't say idli gets included in gold because it is no presence so similarly only when you can show how the rituals are present in the mantras then you can say that in the mantras the rituals get included but apparently to us when you study read like purushukta and this mantra etc we do not find any rituals included so mantreshu anupalabdha karmana the karma the rituals which are not to be found in the mantras katham antarbhavah how do you say that mantreshu karmana karmani antarbhavanti so mantra karmana antarbhavah how do you say the karmas get included in mantras so now bhashyakara has to have a long discussion himself to show how in mantras mantra means the mantra section of the veda that is where all the karmas are there now that's you know something quite uh, new to us because we all know that the karma rituals are all found in the brahmana section mantras are of the nature of different stotras you know different hymns different praise different prayers and thing of the, of the different devatas so that's where usually how mantras are well known how do the karma is there in the mantras so <clears throat> so bhashyakara says now mantreshu karmane ekam bhavante in mantras the karmas the rituals become included <clears throat> दी अदर टीकाकार आस्त क्वेश्चन इन डिफरेंट वे नु मंत्र कर्मण सामान्य विशेषात्मक अभाव से बिटवीन शब्द एंड मंत्र द रिलेशन सामान्य विशेष सी बिटवीन संकल्प एंड मनस्यन द रिलेशन इज कॉज एंड इफेक्ट सी हाउ थिंग्स एड इंक्लूडेड इन डिफरेंट वेज दि मनस्यन गेट्स इंक्लूडेड इन संकल्प बिकॉज रिलेशन जे बीज बिटवीन एज कॉज एंड इफेक्ट हेतु हेतु मत and the mantras get included in shabda then the relation is samanya and vishesha because vishesha is included in samanya then the shruti makes a statement the karma the rituals get included in mantra so earlier relation was samanya vishesha so you look for the same relationship here are mantras called are vishesha the specific states of uh, i mean our karma specific states of mantra we don't find that so mantra karma ho samanya visheshatmakatva abhavad so between shabda and mantra samanya visheshatmak abhav was there but in mantra and karma we do not find samanya vishesha relationship bhav so how do we say mantreshu karmana mantra bhav in what way does the shruti says that the mantra the karma the rituals all get included in mantra इति आशंक मंत्र प्रकाशिताना मेव कर्मणा नो दैट्स डिफरेंट सो मंत्र प्रकाशिताना सिंस कर्मा द रिचुअल्स आर ऑल रिवील्ड बाय मंत्रास मंत्र प्रकाशिताना मेव कर्मणा अनुष्ठानाद व्हिच रिचुअल्स विल यू परफॉर्म व्हिच रिचुअल्स विल यू परफॉर्म ओनली दोस व्हिच आर इनिशिएटेड बाय मंत्रास 
which are revealed by the mantras, those rituals alone will be elaborated by Brahmanas. So Vashyaka will argue that the Brahmanas elaborated in those rituals which are first revealed by mantras. So you perform rituals as enjoined by Brahmana. But Brahmana will enjoin that ritual which is initiated by mantra. And so mantra prakashitanam eva karmanam anushthanat. So what karma or the rituals we perform, they are all mantra prakashana, they are all revealed by the mantras, you know, initiated by mantras. Ever antarabhavokti, therefore it is said that the rituals get included in the mantras. So mantra. So we will take up the discussion tomorrow. <coughs> Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyade Purnasya Purnamada Ya Purnameva Vashishyade Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutau Vande Bhagavantau Punah Punah Ishvaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyoma Vat Vyapta Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om